<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Book Discussions. My name is Queen Rafi. This is my podcast, Queen Rafi Space. And for today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the book Second Class Citizen by Buchi Emecheta. This book is a book that left me with so much rage and anger. Like, I have never read a book that left me with that much rage and anger. By the time I was done, I wanted to just find whoever Ada's husband was and just beat him. <laughs> and that's how I felt. But anyway, let's talk about the themes that are covered in this book. Second Class Citizen is a book that has its theme centering on being a girl child in the eastern part of Nigeria in the early 60s and 70s, being an immigrant in England around the time period as well, tribalism, domestic violence, deadbeat fathers and irresponsible men, and a culture that has a disregard for women and looks at them as second class citizens in a way. And also, this book sort of took me on a journey that I just I just felt really sad reading the book. And I kind of understood when people talk about the fact that reading a book by Buchi Emeteta can actually leave you traumatized. Like, I really can understand why people would say that because this book... There were times where I just closed it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. Because at this point, I'm really boiling over with anger, you know? It is a very engaging and entertaining and power-packed book. And I love how simply and easily the words are, are written, you know? I like when a book isn't written with, like, really big words. Because it's stressful having to check every minute for, for the dictionary. What does this mean? But this book is very easy to read another thing i wanted to talk about when it comes to this book is the fact that i did envy the main character ada a little bit honestly her gift of being able to get pregnant quote unquote after one touch kind of kind of made me feel some type of way you know because ah, i wish i was built that way <laughs> i wish i could just get pregnant after you know <laughs> but well yeah everybody with the way that they have been built right um that's a story for another day. This book was published in 1974, and knowing that it was a semi-autobiographic novel kind of makes me feel hurt because I just feel like no one deserves to go through the amount of pain, you know, that Ada went through in this particular book. Ada is the main character. And if you're wondering what and what it is that she went through and why I wanted to beat up her husband, <laughs> You should definitely pick up this book and read it. It is brilliant and it's so sad that some of the things that are written, even though this book was written in 1974, still rings true today in the new millennium, in what we call the new century or whatever that is. It, it's kind of sad, you know, talking about the way that black people are being treated, you know, in England, for example, talk about the tribalism, you know, between the Eastern and the, uh, the Igbo people and the Yoruba people. Like, a lot of things that were written in that book, you would think that because it was written as far back as 1974, some things should have changed. Well, some things have definitely changed, but by and large, there are some things that still ring true today in 2023, and that is just kind of sad. All in all, I enjoyed reading this book. I wish I read it before she died because she's the, the author Buchi Emecheta is now late she died in 2017 but she's written so many more books then and I plan to you know get into those as soon as I'm done healing from second class citizen all the reviews I've read about this book then it didn't do justice at all like I think they undersold the book because I really really enjoyed it and it is such a short novel that honestly if you are a fast reader you can probably finish it in like two days or three days but if you're like me where the pain gets a bit too much and it gets a bit too real and you drop it maybe a week or in two weeks you're probably done reading it so it's not a book that takes too much of your time ah uh, i'm reading a new book next and it is by one of my favorite authors and i cannot wait to tell you about it but before then pick up second class citizen today read about it all right I can't be the only one that will be traumatized. Thanks for listening.